It's getting hard to remember a time when the world wasn't filled with video cameras and television wasn't filled with real people on reality TV. But back when David Cronenberg was assembling his team to create Videodrome, TV had been around for a little more than a generation and was still firmly in the control of advertisers, network programmers, and censors. There was no HBO, no Showtime, no DVDs, no Criterion Collection. Back then, home video was still so new, networks and studios were busily suing manufacturers, trying to force them to remove the record buttons from their VCRs. My name is Michael Lennick, and way back in an earlier century, I was privileged to be one of three effects supervisors on David Cronenberg's Videodrome. That's me in Harlan's Bootleg Video Lab, a set my team filled with equipment and detritus from our own basement labs. My partners, Lee Wilson, Rob Meckler, and I, were in charge of the film's video effects and imagery. The job called for plenty of quick and dirty in-camera trickery, combined with the latest in early 80s digital effects. Whatever it took to assist David in realizing his ever-mutating vision, and help Max Wren hallucinate a brand new world of low-res weirdness. Our mandate was anything having to do with video, from optical effects to producing the film's mini TV sequences. We even had to figure out how to waterproof a television set or two in order to help ensure a safe environment in which to shoot a very ambitious script.